Thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's a fun one. One of my favorite things, boxing. Um, so for today's workout, we're going to go through a couple of different movements. It's going to be a very slow workout to start since this is the first one we're going to do together. And hopefully over time, we'll do more and pick up our pace. So today we have many options. I'm going to be showing the movements with just air punches. I'm not holding weights. I don't have any added resistance to my movements. Perfectly fine. Great cardio. You're going to get a great benefits and a workout from that. If you have gloves and you would love to put on some gloves, that's great. They add resistance. There's some weight to those gloves. They always come in different ounces. You can have those and wear those. You can always hold a pair of light dumbbells to do those punches with. That's optional, something to work up to. Think of it like that. Or you can always use a resistance band. The band would go behind your back. You'd hold that resistance and you'd press it out. So you have all of those different pieces of equipment that you can over time add to the workout. But remember, I'm just going to be showing doing those punches in the air. So when you're ready, we're getting that sturdy chair. We're going to do everything in our chair today and get a great full body workout. So getting that chair, pieces of equipment, if you choose to use them for our boxing workout today, and of course have your water close by, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So we will go ahead and get started with our boxing workout, but I'm going to go through just a couple of the benefits of boxing. So not only is it a great go at your own pace, cardiovascular and strengthening workout, even done from the comfort of our chair, we're getting big movements in the body. We really want to focus on big movements, using breath with our movements. It's great for our coordination, focusing on hand-eye coordination and going. Some of the things I'm going to say are jab, cross, hook, things like that. You're going to hear words and then you're going to have to follow along with it. So we're working on our memory, our short term, and then when we get together again, trying to memorize these things, working on our long term. Again, the core is going to be pulled in the entire time. We're getting movements through the waist, getting that spine going, getting our lower back. We'll do a little bit with our lower body. Lower body can stay right where it is, or you can get that incorporated a little bit too. And of course the upper body is going to get that great workout with or without resistance that we choose to use. So with all that being said, all the many, that's just a couple things, all the many benefits of boxing we'll go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with just a quick stretch. I just want to get the body a little bit warmed up and loosened up. So we will start with our hands on our lap, abdominals pulled in tight always. Lengthen our spine, just twist and open the body to the right side. Exhale, come through center, twist to the left. Two more times each side. One more each side. Come back to center, hands can stay on your lap or bring them down by your side, alternate extending up. Extend the right, press the left back, extend the left, press the right back. Two more each side, one more each side. Bring that right up to meet the left overhead, big stretch up towards the sky, bring them down to your shoulders, do that again, press straight up towards the sky, release them down, exhale. Inhale, two more, one more, length up, exhale, bring them down onto your lap, hollow out your belly, arch and stretch your spine, just breathing, get the body loosened up, warmed up and woken up, sit up nice and tall, arms can stay where they are, or down by your side, we're just going to make big movements, open and close, open and close, inhale, exhale, three, Two. If you have the range of motion, keep the arms out by your side. I want tiny little circles to the front and little circles to the back. We're going to make those movements bigger now. Big circles come around to the front. Inhale, exhale. Reverse it. Big circles go to the back. Inhale and exhale. Bring the hands onto the lap. We're just going to alternate bringing those feet up. Nice and quick movements. Lift those feet up. Exhale, inhale. 
Don't hold the breath as you concentrate. Let's do three, three, two, one more each side, and then we're just gonna alternate tap to the side. So tap right, tap left, tap right, tap left. Exhale, inhale. Three, three, two, two, one more each side. And I'm nice and warmed up. Let's get ready with our movement. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna bring your hands up towards chest level. Now almost imagine that there's someone in front of you. So you're gonna press that right, their left hand out, excuse me, in front of you. Feel as if you're punching towards someone's nose. Bring it back into the body. See that curve that I get? So my palms are in towards one another. Then I extend it out, twist and rotate, come back in. Other side, exhale, extend, bring it back in. Exhale, extend, bring it back in. Remember, especially when we're doing air punches, we don't have weights in our hand. Get those big movements, that extension. If you're holding those dumbbells, I want you to always keep a slight bend in your elbow joint. Never lock it out nice and straight. If you're just using that air, I want big movements. Press them out. So this is called your jab, pressing out. This is your cross, press it out. Abdominals tight. Just do that a few times. Get the movement, feel the body working. Get that visual, press it out in front of you. Let's do two more each side. Two, two, one more jab and cross. And release just for a second, little shake out. Bringing those hands back up to chest level. Now feel as if that person is in front of you and you're going towards their temples, the side of the face. So bringing that left hand up, we come around, that's called a hook and you would go right into their temple and then you'd pull it back into your chest. Other side, big movement out, press, come back into your chest. So when you bring it out, I don't wanna see it come back here. I wanna bring it around, pull back in. Bring it around, pull back in. Exhale. Inhale, exhale on that impact. Keep abdominals pulled in tight. Do two more each side. Hook around and left, right. Release them for a second, little shake out. It's a lot on the shoulders. Breathe into it, release it whenever you need to. Hands come back up, we'll do our upper cuts now. So sitting in our chair, we're gonna do our jab and cross. We'll do our hooks just towards the temple. When we're standing, which one day we'll get to a video where I'm gonna show you standing, we'll also have body shots, which are gonna be hooks around. We're not gonna do those sitting, so don't think I forgot those. We're gonna go into our uppers though now. So our uppercuts, left hand leads, we come up towards under that chin, bring it back into the chest. Right up, bring it back in. Again, bringing it right to someone's chin. You have that visual in front of you. Uppercut left, come in, uppercut right, come in. See that slight movement in my core? I'm coming around with it. That's where that big core work comes from. You do two more each side. Left upper, in, right upper. One more. And come back center, release little shake out. Now the way we're gonna get lower body incorporated Remember, lower body does not need to move at all if that does not feel right for you. But what we can do as we're doing those punches, thinking about leading with the same leg as arm. So when we press that left jab out, we can bring that left foot out, pull back in. Now right, cross, come back in. Exhale, inhale. Length, big movement. Three. Three, two, one more, left and right. We're gonna go straight into those rounds. We bring it around, come center, round, add lower body. Only if that feels okay, I want you to keep the abdominals pulled in. Breathing, three, three, two, two, one more each side. And we're gonna go straight into our uppers again. Upper left, upper right. Keep that movement or bring that foot, bring that foot. Exhale, exhale. Breathing, just get those movements in. Learning our boxing movements. Three, three, 
two, two, one more each side, come back center, release. Little shake out of everything. So now we know our punches, our jab, our cross. We hook around our left, hook around our right, we upper left, we upper right. Now just putting those together, we're gonna do one of each and we're gonna go nice and quick. Again, keeping the movements big, but really focus on good form. A lot of times we could just start flailing the arms around. You wanna keep the muscles tight. You wanna keep the core pulled in. So really have that visual of something in front of you that you're reaching for. We're not just throwing in the air, we're reaching for something through the air. Nice and tall, one of each, and I'm gonna add lower body, do what feels best for you. So we jab, we cross, hook left, hook right, upper left, upper right, keep going, jab, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper again, jab, cross, hook, hook, upper, keep that going, exhale, exhale, again, jab, cross, hook left, right, upper, upper, jab, cross, hook, hook, one more time through, jab, cross, hook left, Hook right, upper left, upper right, release. Little relax. <sighs> Breathing, don't hold the breath. Anytime you need to stop and get water, this should bring your heart rate up. Your movement should be big enough, even if it's just upper body that's moving, bringing that heart rate up. <sighs> even if you're not holding resistance, it's still going up nice and high. Keeping the abdominals tight, we're doing that again, but now we're doing two of each. So it's two jab crosses, two hooks around, left, right, left, right, two uppers through. Abdominals tight. Again, I'm gonna add the lower body along with it. You do not have to. Nice and tall, let's start breathing. Exhale, exhale again. Bring our hooks around, left, right, left, upper. See how they come straight back into the body? Keeping the muscles tight again, two. One more of those, again, hooks. Two, two, one, uppers, two, two, one, keep it going, abdominals tight, press, press, extend out, bring that hook around, go towards the temple, now under the chin, come up, up, again, keep it going, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook around towards that temple, big movements, uppers, under that chin, one more time, two jab crosses, two hooks around, left, right, left, right, two uppers, left, right, left. Give yourself a little break. If you're incorporating lower body and you start to feel any pain or discomfort in your lower back, because we're not able to keep the abdominals contracted and pulled in the entire time, take the lower body portion out of it. So next set we're gonna do, I'm gonna kinda call different things. So you have to kind of follow along. So if I say jab cross, and then I say upper, and I go back to jab cross, and then hooks. But we'll do each side. So we'll still do left and right for each one of our movements now. Nice and tall. I'm gonna take the lower body out of it for this one so our mind can really focus on following along with the pattern of the upper body punches that we're doing. Nice and tall, abdominals pulled in keeping that guard up. We're gonna start with a jab and a cross. So jab, cross, now upper, left, right, always lead with that left. Again, jab, cross, press, press, upper. Let's go to hooks now. Hook, hook, keep that going. Bring that around, keep abdominals tight. Hook, hook. Let's go to our uppers now. Up, up, one more. Hook around, left, right. Jab, cross now. Jab, cross. Jab, cross, keep those going. I want you to feel length in the body. Bring our hooks now, hook, hook. Back to jab, cross, jab, cross. Uppers, left, right, left, right. Back to jab, cross, press and extend, breathing. <sighs> Uppers again, left, right, left, 
hooks around, hook, hook towards the temple, keep the muscles pulled in tight, jab cross, press, press, extend, uppers, left, right, core pulled in nice and tight, hook around, left, right, left, keep those hooks going, let's go back to uppers now, left, right, left, jab cross, jab, cross, one more, jab, cross, let's do those hooks, hook, hook, two more sets, one more, uppers, left and right, left, right, one more time, and then I'll give you a little break, and release it, a little shake out. So that's our set of just trying to change everything around. So now, we're going to keep that kind of form as far as changing it around, but I might say throw a right hook and then a left upper. So it's not gonna be both left and right that are working at the same time. So remember, left hand coming out, jab. Right hand coming out, cross. So the others are just gonna be our left, right hook, left, right upper. So let's do a couple combinations slow. So we'll start with our jab. So we jab out, then we're gonna come around with a hook on our right side. So that hand comes in, then we hook around with our right, pull it back in. Let's do that again. So it's jab, in, hook, in. Jab, in, hook, in. You can add that lower body if it feels okay. Jab, hook, we're gonna do that again. But let's pick up our pace. So it's jab, hook, jab, hook, exhale, exhale. Two more, one more, and release. We're gonna stay with that combination, but we're gonna add one more thing to it. It will be an upper, and I'll tell you which hand it'll be once we get started. So let's start with our jab and our left hook coming around. Nice and tall, let's do our jab first, it's a right hook, excuse me, bring that around. Now let's add a right upper. So you have to pull that back in and then come around with that upper. So jab out, press it, come in, hook, same arm, upper. Keep that going. Jab out, hook, upper, core tight. Jab out, big movements, hook, upper, pick our pace up. Jab, hook, upper, jab, hook, upper, jab, hook, upper, two more, jab, hook, upper, one more, jab, hook, upper, and release. Little shake out, getting that mind working too. It's working mine. <laughs> Body's nice and warm. So let's change our combination now. Starting with two movements, and we'll add one more to it. So nice and lifted, remember, don't, lose, don't compromise and lose our form just when we're concentrating on things. <sighs> nice and proud through the upper body. The shoulders stay relaxed, the abdominals stay pulled in. Keep our good posture and form always, and then we add our movements to it. So we have our guard up. Let's start with a right hook. So bring it around, come back in. Now we'll bring our cross. That's the right hand pressing out, come in. So hook, in, cross, in. Hook, in, cross. A couple more, hit the movement with those two. Again, hook, cross. Let's add one more thing. So we'll hook, we'll cross, back other hand, upper. So hook, cross, upper, hook, cross, upper, core tight, hook, cross, upper, straight that same arm, comes around with the hook, cross, left upper, left hook, right cross, left upper, little faster, hook, cross, upper, core tight, hook, cross, upper, hook, cross, upper, again, exhale, 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 hook, cross, two more. Hook, cross, upper, one more. Hook, cross, upper, release, little shake out of everything. 
We're just gonna go through our punches one more time. We're gonna do them nice and quick. I'm not gonna add lower body again for this part. We're just gonna focus on big movements for upper body and kind of getting into our pace. That'll be our workout for today. Keep our good form, abdominals tight, lengthen our spine, tighten up those muscles, have your guard up. So we'll start with our jab and cross. We're doing one of each going through everything. Let's do it slow first so we remember everything. So jab, cross, hook left, hook right, upper left, upper right. Pick up our pace. Jab, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper. Jab, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper. Visualize in front of us what that aim is going for. Core tight, press and extend, come around, come up, extend out, around, come up. Couple more times, jab, cross, hook, hook, upper. Let's do two more, jab, cross, hook, hook, upper. One more, jab, cross, hook, hook, upper, and release. Great, great job today. I had so much fun again. Love boxing, the benefits of it are tremendous. Sitting in a chair or standing. Remember, lower body doesn't have to move to get that body warmed up, get the mind working as well. Make sure you drink plenty of water. We got that heart rate up, we got that sweat going. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.